readings. We're going to jump right into this. Now this uh, video right here, we're squaring up the three videos that we previously made. Uh, giving us a overstanding of things they don't talk about in scriptures and we're talking about the theologians, the preachers, the politicians all those that are leaders in this world today in the year 2022 that you listen to and follow See, they have been hand fed and taught by the beast and those members of the nation of Islam the hypocrites it's like this the honorable when Master Farad taught the honorable Elijah Muhammad now he didn't teach him when he first founded the nation of Islam he taught him a year or two later I'm estimating now, but anyway. But he was searching for that someone that can contain the knowledge. And that someone was, I'm talking about Master Farah was searching for that someone that could contain, contain this knowledge. And that was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He taught him for three and a half years, day and night. But also, uh, a lot of times his brother, Supreme Minister John Muhammad, was also being taught at the same time. I studied up under for a brief, uh, but it didn't take me long to understand uh, when I studied up under John Muhammad the concept or the knowledge that Master Farah brought to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now some brothers, because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was giving them baby food, they didn't, un they didn't comprehend the baby food. They didn't digest the baby food that well. You know, and when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad passed, he started giving us a little more grown up food or food that that we he thought we could digest. But he was also not just teaching us, he was showing us. You know, on how to overcome. Now a lot of them brothers uh that you listen to now or Bobby Hammett, uh, who else, uh, even Minister Farrakhan, uh, Malcolm, Khalid, Wallace, uh, Dr. York, I can't name all of them right now, but some of them set in on some of the teachings and some of them sat in on the FOI class but they wasn't getting all the knowledge because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was hand feeding them and those that he thought could comprehend a little more he would give them a little more but you had to be on the FOI class or not everyone in the FOI class was digesting the food the spiritual food or the mental food that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was, was feeding them. So they come out and they get to a certain part and then they start making up stuff. You know, after they done exhausted all the knowledge that they knew, they started making up stuff, especially Dr. York. But everything that was in the Supreme was less Supreme Wisdom lesson book it took you time to digest some of that wisdom so we're trying to get to the 
you know, because of this Easter jumping off, we, you know, they don't call Easter the crucifixion or the resurrection of Jesus. They call it Easter. They don't call Good Friday the crucifixion of Jesus. They, they say it's good. But what's so good about crucifying they, crucifying they God? That's because you can't crucify God. And they know it. But if they can make you think <laughs> that they crucify God, you know, that hey, that's all it that's all it takes to overthrow you, overthrow your mental capacity. You how you gonna crucify God, man? How you gonna kill God? Or kill God is a a bad name to use because it only means to possess a power and forth. So we use the, the terminology Allah. And Allah came into the person of Master Farah Muhammad to straighten out all these lies that's in the Bible. So first you had to go in the Bible with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, correct all the misunderstandings, the poison. He had to get that poison out your system. So you can't crucify Allah, the universe. You're crucifying the universe, which he's trying to do now. Because he's an artificial man, and he knows the universe is not going to serve him the way it, 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 it served the originator. And we are descendants of the originator. We are the original Asiatic black man. So, you know, Easter, he's going to call it Easter because to confuse you. You know, to confuse you. And then he put his picture... It says he's God, so he crucifying himself. That's true. He's crucifying himself, but he's not going to resurrect. He's not coming back. This is it for him, you know. But as long as he have you subliminally fooled and tricked, then that's how long he gonna stay around. But as soon as we wake up and depart from him, you know, he's not gonna be here much longer. But it's taking us a long time because the preachers, they don't stay on point. They don't stay on subject. They go all around the Bible, but they don't teach you and stay on a subject until you comprehend that subject like how to eat to live otherwise if you if otherwise if you know the real teachings in Leviticus which the honorable Elijah Muhammad brought to you there would be no more hog hog farms swine farms chicken farms matter of fact you know, we don't hardly need to eat. Now, he says in the, in the beginning that her, her herbs and vegetation is for your meat. But the, the caveman had to eat meat to survive. We're not going to stay long. We might come back with another one. But anyway, he's fooling you with the Easter thing. He couldn't. He can't kill. He didn't kill uh, Jesus, the real Jesus. Easter. He didn't die on the cross. Although they did get him later on, because he was teaching the truth. He didn't die on the cross. Black light. 